This simulation shows the dangers for teenagers driving impaired. The goal, help them make decisions so they can arrive alive. Some mid-Michigan students are getting a high-tech lesson today about the consequences of drinking, using drugs, and texting while behind the wheel. Good afternoon. I'm David Andrews. And I'm Ann Emmerich. The lessons are timely as students prepare for prom and graduation celebrations. News 10's Amaya Kuznicki shows us how the Arrive Alive program aims to make sure teens return home safely to their families. She's up there scoring today. It's good to know the consequences before they, they happen in real life. Students like Maddie Rigos got a chance to get behind the wheel using virtual reality to mimic impaired driving. It wasn't just that I wrecked another car, like I was speeding, I wasn't paying attention, I was swerving. The Arrive Alive tour has been on the road traveling since February. Safe driving instructor Heidi Martinez says she's visited every state in the U.S. We kind of follow spring break and prom all over the country because that is when people are drinking underage. But drinking and using drugs aren't the only factors of impaired driving. We all have a cell phone, but what we don't realize is that one in four accidents in the United States are a direct cause of texting and driving. And we understood the, the dangers of drugs and alcohol while you're driving, <laughs> but texting is a whole new addiction. Wilson Talent Center instructor Monique Kalizzi tries to promote driving safety in her classroom. We definitely try to incorporate a lot of real world experiences, whether it's a case study or the Strive for a Safer Drive campaign, things like this that help drive home the and, and blend the curriculum with real life learning. Bringing Arrive Alive to the school was completely student led. You don't realize the impact it just has on more than yourself. It has a big impact on other people as well. Focusing on the fun of prom and graduation and not the consequences of impaired driving. In Mason, Amaya Kuznicki, News 10. Arrive Alive's tour doesn't stop here. They'll be visiting different schools across the state of Michigan. Tomorrow, they're heading to Lawton High School on the west side of the state.